Hi everyone, Ben, KC9UNS here. Today I'm going to be showing you a video about uh, my Turner Plus 3, how I hooked it up to my uh, FM radio. A uh, little well-known uh, microphone, Turner Plus 3. Very nice microphone, the only, only few things that I found wrong with it is that it's a little, little has a little wear and tear. Bought it at a ham fest for thirty dollars, which is uh, about what it's going for on eBay. The uh, reason why I <coughs> I wanted wanted this microphone was first of all PTT. Uh, I'm afraid that I'm gonna crush this button right here, and uh, I'm gonna have some major issues. You know, I'm, I'm a grip holder. You know, I, I grip microphones really really hard, and uh, I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Second of all, I wanted something that locked. Put a lock on there, and uh, I can do my nets, and I can talk with my hands. Woo! Hands free. Woohoo! And it works really good. Really, really good for uh, for what it is. No, the microphone. I also this microphone right here. This is a, an static. I bought this also for a buck fifty. Don't know if it works or not, but. Uh, it looks like something that uh, you'd use with a uh, what do they call that harmonica, and it also came with a barrel connector and an SO239 uh, ring, which is uh, uh, what is this? It's a Amphenol. So I bought that for a buck fifty. Also bought another microphone, but I gave it away since I didn't really need it. Anyway, when I bought it, it had a uh, different end, so I put this on. This is a four pin for uh, Citizen Band, which I would call it standard for all pretty much all microphones uh, for this type. So I put that on there. Uh, they're common, they're cheap, you can buy, buy them. So anyway, this is what I built. If you look inside here, you will see a uh, transformer. This is a one-to-one. -one. And then I put this in, this is the radio end. This is, that's a, uh, a thing what I did was is I, I soldered this end first and put all the components in and then soldered the other end. <coughs> this is a uh, pill bottle and, uh, and then there's a capacitor just to help out. The same, same on both ends. It's a, it's a four pin connector. On the other end is a uh, 45 jack for my Kenwood right over there the TM uh, 281A so that can be plugged in here and I can play around with it now when I initially did this project like I said I needed something for a net and uh, my other project for breakout box to switch between my 10 meter and the 2 meter I had this where I could, you know, put it in my palm and activate it. And then I had my mixer microphone, and uh, it worked out pretty well. But the problem was is that it just didn't work too well. It didn't work on 10 meters. On my 10 meter rig, it'd squeal like a pig. Couldn't figure it out. So this one right here, this will be able to hook up to my 10 meter once I get the. Once I find a uh, uh, eight pin to whatever, and uh, it'll work on there and have no problem. Like I said, this is a uh, Turner Plus Three, very good condition. Um, and I found that it needs it needs needed some volume. And it's about right there. I'll bring it up. Yeah, about there for volume. As far as power. But um, it worked worked out fairly well. My next project is going to be as soon as I can get this on here. My next project is going to be a DTMF tone pad for this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it come out, come in through here, and then have a jack probably on a side or something like that, so that I can uh, plug in a DTMF pad and play tones because especially on this repeater here 
my downfield repeater. I'm able to uh, able to use DTMF tones to uh, do certain things for them, like the net, uh, announce the net for the local club. Uh, the, the trustee allows me to do that. And unfortunately, with this microphone, uh, this one has a DTMF pad. But the problem is, is that I can't use both. Well, I can, but I'd have to create a, uh, a thing for it. So I'm just going to create a DTMF pad. The problem is, is finding the chips. Yeah. If you have a chip, send it to me. Let me know. Um, yeah, and the DTMF, and there's a couple other things. I'd like to create an equalizer uh, and other things for it. But on two meters, you don't really need it. So that is the Turner Plus 3, um, unmodified in the in the, uh, in the the microphone. So, very clean. Bought it for thirty dollars. It was originally forty. Uh, they were asking forty, and I said, "Hey, let me have it for 30 I was like, "All right." So, that's that. And this cord goes back behind the rigs, and down below for the pill bottle. Very, very nice. Uh, I like the way I set that up. Instead of having a big bulky box, like this. This was the previous one that I pulled all the junk out of. Got PTT and audio in for the radio. And I could switch between off, left and right uh, radios. And, uh, just like left, right. And uh, that's what the previous project was. This will probably be going in the scrap pile as soon as I pull all the components out. But uh, it worked okay, but I didn't like it. So now I got my pill bottle box, and everything's going to be working there. Working a okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching. This is Ben, KC9UNS.